What's up guys, it's Juice Shaker Beards, and behind me is the 2019 Jeep Wrangler Rubicon. Now this isn't any ordinary Jeep. This thing is the baddest thing out there. And it's a new style. That's right, the JL now. Now, I went over the history back when I reviewed the, TG, the TJ model back in November. So, if you want to hear about the history, go over there. Now here's the, here's the little thing about the Rubicon. The Rubicon is the baddest, the meanest, the most off-roading capable Jeep ever created. And this brand new Jeep JL model is, is the newest edition of that lineup. Now, is this, is this still a Jeep? Even though it's a refresh, that's what we're here to find out. You guys know how time is. First person walk around time. Sorry guys. They made it bigger and you can't really add it or anything. It's just a little and again, I highly recommend not doing that. But this, I absolutely love the fenders on this thing. I don't know if that's a Rubicon exclusive. I'll have to find out, but I love the look of this thing. Look at this. Nice off-road fenders, big wheels. I love this front bar little tilt to get out of things. That's really nice. Now, save the steel. Now, I'm not sure if this is steel or plastic. I know you can't get an option for steel, so. If you want something more robust, be sure you get the steel. Walk around. Love the Rubicon insignia. I mean, I mean look at this thing. You know it's a Rubicon so you can't save it. It doesn't say Rubicon right in there, flying in your face. It's not a Rubicon. I love the new wheel design. This is a very sporty, off-road capable, can go anywhere. And these are on BF Goodwin's all-terrain tires because why not? You need them. You're gonna need to go anywhere. Trail rated. I love the specific red Highlighting tires tire for all these. That's really cool. That's exclusive to the Rubicon model. Oh, oh look at this little Easter egg. One T50. Now that is a, I don't know what that exactly means, but look at that. Look at this. This is awesome. Oh, look around. Fuel. Uh, I'm not sure what goes in here. Does it say gas? Do you put gasoline? Do you put, do you put, do you put methane? I think you put methane in it. That's right. Oh, oh, it's metal. Oh, that's plastic. That's nice. Love the new styling. I like how it's still a, that Jeep color we always love, that Jeep style. But it still, it still has just a refreshed modern look, which I like. I mean, look at this thing. Look at that insignia. Look at that Jeep Wrangler. That's the old, from the old World War II. That's so cool. All right, walk around more. Now the tops can come off, but it's a little cut off there, so I'm not gonna do it. I'm sorry, I'll do it. When I get my Jeep, I promise I'll take the tops out when it's warmer. But right now, we're just gonna walk around. I love this thing. All right, let's pop the hood. Let's pop the hood. I'm like, oh, thanks. You literally, Get that thing right there. See how I did it. All right, I'm gonna pause it right now and so I can get this hood open. All right guys, I have tried and tried everything. I cannot get this hood open. But I'm going to show a picture of what the hood looks like in just a second. It is the V6 and Penta, pentagram engine, which is pretty nice. Makes around, I want to say, 400 horsepower on there. Get on there. There we go. So yeah. Sorry, I couldn't open the hood. This thing's a little finicky. All right, let's get inside for the first time. Oh, oh, nice heat steering wheel. Ooh, look at this. Ooh, nice and warm. Look at this. Oh, nice and warm. Man, look at this. Heat steel. This feels so nice. Look at this. All right. Let's see, can you see the gauges? Yeah, you can. All right. Since you guys can see the gauges, I want to go over some cool stuff in here. 
stops out. Uh, this thing goes, oh, look at that! Look at that! Look what's in the background! I know... What's this? I'm gonna zoom out. All right, guys, you gotta, gotta see it. Look at that! An old World War II picture of the Jeep Wrangler. That's... That's just so cool. I can't believe you did that! I like the gauges. These are the gauges in literally every Jeep ever now, so... If... Not these gauges right here. Not that single thing. So, if you have a Jeep, if you have a different Jeep, you're like, uh, same thing. It, it will be very familiar to you. Look at this. Different trips. Fuel coming off-road. That's pretty nice. Oops. Oh, look at that. It tells you if the sway bar is connected. That's cool. Vehicle info, speedometer. Ooh, that thing's pretty nice. Star. All right. Let's do that. Let's see what this is. This is the new 8.4 inch navigation all everything screen. Now, compared to the RAM, this is a little small, but you don't need that big thing when you need all this cool stuff. So let's go let's go look at it. Nav. Ooh. View map. Ooh. I'm loving the heat seats in this baby. Zoom out. Oh look at that. Look at that guys. Look at that wonderful map. Controls, got heat seat, mirror camera, backup camera, we'll show that. Ooh, look at that, pretty nice. It's not a 360, you can't get 360 on the main Wrangler, which I, I think Chrysler should put on them because it could be really useful. Say you're going off the trail and you're like, I don't know if my, say there's a big rock right there and you don't know how close it is. If you had a 360 camera, I could tell you, you could literally see it without, you know, getting out. You would say, oh, you can just get out near that. Well, what if, what if you're like tw up in, on a mountain 500 feet in the air and you're not sure if the rock's right there? Exactly. You can't get out. You'll fall off. Old crazy little thing called gravity. All right, let's look around for the different apps. So where that's Wi-Fi, we go. Ooh, ooh, that's nice. App manager, backup cam. This is generally the same thing, uh, infotainment as the as all Ips, FCA products. But one thing I really like about FCA screw, infotainment screen is this thing. Watch this. Say I want he had seats to be easily. Act, easily given to me just like the just like the the G the challenger you hold present hold look at that look at that I am let's say I don't need XM radio that much look 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 at that that is so cool I love that all right when I love how now this is exclusive to the Jeep you all the power windows are on inside the vehicle mainly because you took the doors off I mean why wouldn't you Nice mirrors. This is pretty nice. I love the red and this red thing right here. Now this can be different colors depending on which trim you have. This thing is really nice. I really like the color. I like what Jeep did with it. It's really nice. All right. Different style with that. I love the little Jeep. Now if you get the manual, it will say the manual won't have that. But and also cool about the manual, right here you can get a little a little red clip you pull up to get put on reverse which I really like I like how four-wheel drive right here that little button look at that look at that all walking differential rear only look at that sway bar this is little thing pull cover to store your little cubby store your phone Let's see how much space you get Console, mm, not bad. This thing, this thing left up. I said that. Oh, look at that! Look at that! Look how much crap you get! Look all this! Look all that! Look all the stuff you get! That's a lot of space. To me, all the you guys tell I'm big on my console space. This is a big vehicle, so I would like to have multiple. Now, obviously, I'm not going to open this. But this, when you buy a Jeep, you get this really cool Jeep bag that has a whole bunch of crazy stuff in it. What am I? Okay, here's a little side picture. All the tools you get to like, if you need to unscrew some bolts and stuff like that, which I really like. That's really cool. You get this little, oh, shut up. You get this little floor mat, which is really cool. Put that back. I like this vehicle. 
it has very you would say oh it's too many cheap materials i like it's like this because i want something that can get really dirty and not afraid it's going to get scratched that's the whole point of a jeep is you will you're going to be using it off-road like no no tomorrow i mean look at this i mean and plus this thing has heat seat and a hand steering wheel and you're going to be off-roading this thing so yeah this thing is awesome this thing is so cool now, one thing I do like about the, the Rubicon is, look, you get Rubicon insignia now. Now, you, you, the red, the leather seats will say it as well, which I really like. Always, you can take the top off. But like I said, it's cut out. I don't want to take it off. So, yeah, pretty nice. I like all the thing. Not too much to talk about because this is a Wrangler, and there, you're going to be off-roading thing. Most of the stuff about this vehicle is all mechanical and all the things you don't see which i really like all right let's see if this thing's got crawl control ah that's in my face ah that's hot oh that's hot that's hot okay crawl control let's see controls okay that's not apps off road pages let's put that baby out Please wait. Okay, I'll wait. But never stuck. <laughs> oh! Oh, that's so cool! That's so cool! Look at that! Like in back the SRT pages and the performance pages on the Challenger I drove. This thing has off rail pages! Oh! Drive tram. Okay. Wonder what happens if I. Sorry about Canary, front axle unlocked, rear axle unlocked. Okay, it's locking things. Let's see if it changes. I pressed the, I pulled up the thing for it to lock. All right, we locked. Oh. There. That work? Okay, this is a little finicky. This is a little weird. Okay. I'm guessing you can't really do it without this thing being in drive. So, I don't know if you can put it put it down or up without this being up. I don't know if there's a way. So, let me know if you if there's a way to do it. But if this thing was in 4x4, you know, all this really cool stuff I could tell you. Accessory gauges. Let's click at that. Oh, look at that. That is cool. And I love the coloring. That's really off. That's like a good off-road feel. I like how they use that with the red and the black for the uh, the Challenger. Man, look at that's a performance car. It's a muscle car. You want sport. When driving this, you want to feel like you're going off-road. So why not put some off-road colors? Pitch and roll. Oh, look at that. And look, it's even the, the, the new Jeep. Wow, look at that. That is so cool! I really like that! Alright, let's look around. Anything else? Now, I didn't see a crawl control, which I think they need to add because a lot of vehicles need that, especially with this. I mean, I know this thing, you, you probably don't really need it as much because it's a Jeep. You don't really need that when you're driving a Jeep off or it's, it's, it, it's a crawl control. It, it's itself is a crawl control. But I would like an actual button, you know what I mean? Let me know if you guys would like a crawl control in this thing. I'll back up here. Oops, sorry, I accidentally clicked that. So, not much to go on. It's I like the new interior. I love the new styling for the front. All right, let's move to the back to see if they put the change in the back. This is a four door. Oh. 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 Let's see what's back. Oh. One thing I never really liked about this. One thing I never liked about the rear seats is there was hardly ever any space. But I'm sitting about how I would drive and I have plenty of space. Look at this. Look at this. And you have air. Look at that. Power windows. 
Again, so you can take the doors out. That's why they're right here. USB, which I really like. A full look at that! I can charge my Nintendo Switch on this. Oh, nice couple. Oh, that's nice and sturdy. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Nice and sturdy. That. That is really cool. Oh, oh, these seats. Guys, this, this. Look at this. Oh. I know you have... Now, if you guys have lots of kids that you're worried about, you know, getting this scratched up, because trust me, I, I've gotten this scratched up a lot with other vehicles I ride a lot. This is good protection. And look, it's shaped like, tur like tire tracks. Oh, look. Oh, that is so cool. That is just so cool. Jeep, you've done a fantastic job with this vehicle. I'm very impressed so far. Now, let's see a little more. Ooh, nice speakers right there. Ooh, nice, nice. Uh, this is this is generally one of the it's, pretty, it's the best Jeep you guys have ever made. Besides the Gladiator, that is a well a beast of its own, which I will be reviewing once it comes out from this a wonderful dealer. All right, let's walk around. Show you guys this place. Sorry, I forgot to do that. Look at that, guys! Look at that! Look how much crap you get. I want to be sure that anything. Look at this! Look how much crap you have. This is a lot of space. Problem I've had with the old ones was there wasn't a lot of space. Look at this. I can fit my suitcase in here. Okay, I can go camping in this. Look at this. Which was like, of course you can go camping. It's what's the whole point of it. Well, I've reviewed a couple of jeeps that, well, they didn't really have a lot of space. But look, I could go camping i get my suitcase when i my my camping bag all the kind of stuff go off road and then have a fun time so yeah i highly like this vehicle i think i'm gonna put this down first all right i like how it's two-way like that that's so cool this thing is i'm just impressed with jeep this this thing is insane Oh. Now this is already lifted for you, so I really like. Maybe you want to lift it even more, which I probably would. I mean, I mean, look at this thing. This thing is awesome. And look at this. This is really cool. I'm in love with this Jeep, guys. This thing is insane. Look at that, Ox. I love all the tidbits now and those things. And oh, that is so cool. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to like and subscribe. In a minute, I'm going to cut to me, our de the dealer, Tracy, to us driving it. We had to drive it first because she was a minute, had to go to a meeting real quick. So we're going to cut to the uh, driving portion in just a second. But for, for now, be sure to like and subscribe. And if you want to see this vehicle, be sure to go to Hayes. And... About it. That's all I gotta say about this thing. I really, really like it. Hey guys, I'm here with Tracy as always, and we're taking this thing out for a spin. As always, I don't have my own insurance yet, so I can't drive these cars, but second hand's always good. <laughs> Just give it a good gas and all that so I can get a good feel for the car. Oh, ho, ho. This thing is huge. I drove a TJ not too long ago. If it, it, I felt like I was driving a big off-roading like monster. Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> That's what they feel like. They are so unique. They don't feel like an SUV. They don't feel like a truck. They don't feel like they, they're their own thing. 19 is really comfortable. Oh, is, it, is this 19? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. New body oh yes, yes, yes. So I have to know, otherwise my huge. They'll be like, no, it's an 18, yada, 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 yada. Yeah, this Plus, is a 19, so we just started getting the 19s in. Good. That will really help me with my views, because people were looking for a 19 instead of 18. The, mid, the midway through the year, last um, year, they decided to change the body style, so some of the 18s um, can have the old body style. But, yeah. Um, but they changed the, to the new body style in around March, and then all the 19s have the new body style. I like this a lot. Yeah, this is pretty. No, is this the, is this the standard color for every single one? No, oh. this can be different. Um, oh. oh wow! The Rubicon typically has the red in it. Hmm? Um, 
if it's got the red accents on it. Oh yeah. Um, but you can have them in different different colors. Feels pretty nice. Yeah, this is a nice one. It does have cloth seats, but it's got heated seats. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I feel really nice. Heated steering wheel, I assume. Yes. That's very very useful. I drove my dad's truck then. It had heated seats and heated steering wheel. You have no idea how wonderful that is to drive that truck around the coal when you have it's literally like a giant heater. <laughs> yes, very nice. And the, and they have massage sheets now. It's mm -hmm. now is Jeep going to be doing that anytime soon? Do we know? Massage seats, no. No. We actually um in the media, we actually mm -hmm. came a long way with the um with the new technology. Now you can get the safety packages. You can get, this one doesn't have it, but you can get blind spot. And, oh yeah. Um, lane. No, is there a 360 Park. camera? Not on the Jeep Wrangler, but you can get that on the um, Pacificas and the. Oh yeah, and I really like that. My Dodge truck had a 360, but you know, unlike you know the Pacifico, you can go choose whatever side you want. Right. Same thing with the Rams. You can yeah. do the same thing. F-150 can't do that. Yeah. It's not allowed that. You can only do like what you can only do the front or the back. This is. I like how they still kept the styling of all the other one. Do they? They just gave it what it needed. Yeah, they just. Re like a new, like new technology, new, just a new look. It, it's really all it needs. Even the door handles and everything else. There's 78 differences between the 18 and the 19. Oh yeah, you don't need to do too much to it, mainly because it's a Jeep. Mm -hmm. If you change, like, any, if you don't make it look like a Jeep, no one's gonna really want to buy it. That's true. Because it's one of those things you can't change. <laughs> I remember back in the 90s, Jeep changed, Chrysler changed it to the square. It was good, but not many people buy it. But what really dropped out in the sales when they went back to the circles and made it look like the old mm. World War II Jeep. That's what everyone. That's what everyone wanted. So yeah, this thing is nice. It is very nice. Oh, this is cool. This is the uh, hard top. That's all us. Uh, this is the um, convertible. Yeah, this is the hard top. This is the body colored hard top. There's two different hard tops you can get, but this is the one that's made just like the body of it. Okay. Is this the one that? This is heavier. Is this a convertible version where you can take off all they the? They all are. Yeah, oh. all the. All the tops can be taken off. Oh wow! And they actually have a new. Um, we don't have one right now, but they do have a retractable top. That's yeah, power. I heard about that. I heard still about one of those. You can drive down the road at forty-five and still, it's like a sunroof. You can open it back and forth. Oh yeah, that's amazing. Pretty cool. Yeah, that's what, that's what I love about these things. See, you can. There's nothing you can do. Can't do with this. I did. I was all of the review, Kriegos, I reviewed last year. My favorite off-roader was the Jeep. This oh, really? Was, just because of what it could do. I drove like three different trucks. I like the way they drove, but to me, they're they're, they're not really off-road good. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Whereas this, you, I feel it's not really fast, but you can go anywhere in it. Yeah, you really. So yeah. <laughs> so thank you so much from Hayes and one, and the wonderful lady of Tracy. I mean, you guys look at this wonderful lady. She's cute. She's bringing us new cars. <laughs> She's amazing. As always, be sure to go check her out. Check her out if you want. To check this out for yourself. Thinking about buying one? Any any of the Jeeps? Does it, does the referral work for any Jeep, or does it have to be the? No, any Jeep, as long as they haven't been a customer of ours before. Sweet. Well, for real, guys. So, exactly. If you're a new customer, come check this car out. Be sure to check out my name. Look for Tracy. Don't worry. She, she knows what it's like to get where it's hard to get money, hard to get all the time. She knows what she's doing. She's going to get you a good deal. She's going to do like, yeah, I'm going to charge you $20,000 over the base price because I can. <laughs> she ain't going to do that. She's a good at what she does. And this is at a discount. This is at a discount. Now, What's a good? What's the discount rate right now? I think it's about twenty five hundred off of these. Look at that! Twenty five hundred dollars for this <laughs> this machine. As always, guys, be sure you like and subscribe for more honest reviews. Hey, what's up, guys? This is the honest opinion for the twenty nineteen Jeep Wrangler Rubicon. That's right, this thing was insane. I had no idea it was gonna be this amazing. I mean, I absolutely love it. Well, my best, my favorite thing about this Jeep is 
even though it has so much technology, so much, all this junk, all this stuff that can help you drive and all that, it still feels like a Jeep. I don't know how they did it, but it still feels like a Jeep. And what does a Jeep feel like to you? Well, go look at my other Jeep and I can tell exactly how it feels. You don't feel like it? Fine. It feels like a World War II, World War II Jeep. Pretty much what it is. It's old, it feels like old rust, that rustic feeling the other ones have. But it has a modern feel, modern stuff to it, which I really like. I highly recommend the Rubicon. The main difference between this one and the 972 JK, T, no, TJ4 stone I drove was this one. I obviously get better gas mileage and other stuff, but it was more planted because it had that Robocon suspension, and it was much faster because it had the V6. So I highly recommend the Rubicon if you're really serious about going off-road. The Rubicon is the ultimate vehicle to go off-road, and I highly recommend the V6 in the manual. Be sure you get the manual. You trust me. You'll 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 thank me. Now the automatic is good. But if you really want to go off rowing through the gears, I highly recommend the manual. It does have a, the automatic does have a manual mode, but it's still not sick. It, it's, it's, to me, it's just much better with manual. But that's just me. If I was in drivers every day, I might want an automatic or manual. I'm not exactly sure. I probably would take either. I'll be happy with there. But if, if I'm just going to use this for off road, like I plan on getting a Jeep for, I want a manual. You know, trust me. Big Jeep, all the Jeep Nation guys know that, and girls, know that you, you gotta have a man in order to do certain things. It, it, it's just a must. My favorite things about it, uh, besides the whole thing about it, love the new features. Like I like that backup camera, but obviously, 360. I'll uh, we'll talk about more in just a second. I love the off-road pages. Love that so much. That is so cool that they did that. I love the performance pages that all the perform all these SRT cars co are coming out with, and it's really cool. And I like how Jeep like, yo, let's put some off-road pages on there. It's so cool. I don't know whoever decided to make that is a genius because I love that. I w I would literally buy this just for that. And a bunch of other things, but mainly I make sure you have to make sure it has on there. I don't know if that's. Specifically for the 8.4 or the other, the 7 inch screen. But be sure you has offer pages before you offer pages before you buy the car Jeep. Cause trust me, you're gonna need it. I love how you can easily t tell if a sway bar is connected. Like a lot of a lot of people who are out in the wilderness, they take kids connect the sway bar for different things. I love how this. Jeep lets you know if it's connecting or not. That way, like, uh, did I plug it in right? It lets you know. I love how the differential lock, but that's a standard Jeep. I love it's 4x4, four four, but that's, that's a standard, that's a, that's a Jeep thing. I love how it tells you on the offer pages how much the incline. love how it can tell you what's differential, which one's locked, and all those other crazy things. It's, it is a wonderful thing. It's a wonderful Jeep to have, and I highly recommend it. But one of my favorite Easter eggs about it is if you scroll, like I said for in the beginning of the video, you scroll up, you can see a background of a World War II Jeep in the in the in there. It's it's so cool! I can't believe you put that. We all Jeep is known for putting lots of Easter eggs the or, or the old Jeep everywhere, but I like to put that there. They there it has a few old Jeeps here and there, but to me the old one was just a little too crazy on that. It was just, it was just everywhere. And to me, it's like Jeep. Relax. We know it's a Jeep. It's not like it's a. It's not like it's a Cherokee. We know it's a Wrangler. But they, I like they had a few touches, but just don't go overboard. And this is exactly that. They didn't go overboard. They made sure had just enough, but not too many, which is really good. And like I said before, it drives fine. It handles really good. And it's a wonderful car Jeep to drive. Here are some cons. That backup camera. They need to put a 360 camera. Trust me, it would really, 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 really help. I could, I know about the camera's nice, but that's only if you're like driving around the city. You ain't gonna be driving this around the city. Well, if you are, then well, don't get the Rubicon. Do not get the Rubicon if you're just gonna be driving around the city. You, you're wasting your money. You need a 360 camera so you can easily see different rocks and stuff. Like the new Rolls Royce Conant, it can easily see different stuff like that. Obviously, that's a way more expensive car with way more expensive technology. But I know Jeep Chrysler has a little, has 360 cameras that can do similarly what the Rolls Royce can do. Obviously, not as good, but it's a same concept. 
But besides that, it's really good. I highly recommend it. I did, Is this better than 2017? Well, in my opinion, I really... Well, not, 20, sorry, not 2017, the JK. I like it a little bit better. I like all the new, new technology. If you look like an old 2017 and 2018, like the older style, it's dated. It looks like from 19... Like, two, early 2000s. It's, it was so old looking. I'm glad she was like, yo, we need to update this technology. Because no one's always knows going to buy it. Which they needed. It, it it has the modern technology we that the Jeep really, really needed. And it, I like all the new stuff, the new look. Kind of like the G-Wagon. The G-Wagon needed to be redone. And they and Mercedes finally did it. Which I will be viewing eventually. But yeah. I highly recommend the new one. Anyone who's had a Jeep for a while and wants to... Newer, wants a new look too, just a new look, but still wants a good Jeep feel. And if you've had a Rubicon before, be sure you get the Rubicon again. Otherwise, you're gonna miss. You're gonna be like, uh, this is not as good as my older one because you're like, well, you didn't get the right one. Now, if you if you're not sure if you want to get the Rubicon, I'm gonna ask you two questions. One, how often are you gonna drive us on the street? If the answer is 90% of the time, you probably don't need the Rubicon. But, but here's another question for you. If you answer yes to the question, you gotta answer this. This next second question a little bit more tricky. How often are you gonna go off road and really go anywhere? You wanna go anywhere? I mean, literally anywhere. You wanna roll chips, all kind of stuff. If the answer is yes, you need the Rubicon. If the answer is no, you just wanna go off road here and there, but not too too crazy. You don't really need the Rubicon too much. It's a Jeep. Is it really? You know, so to do basic stuff. But if you want to go heavy on, go anywhere, go over like nine, I don't know what the limits of it. Maybe you can go like nine degree angle, something crazy like that. You need the Rubicon. Otherwise, don't get the Rubicon. If you don't, you're just going to waste your money. Unless you really all, unless you just want to have Rubicon. Like, I would probably get the Rubicon, just have Rubicon. <laughs> but I would try to use it for other things. So, yeah. This is a great vehicle. As always, be sure to check out Tracy if you, at Hayes Automotive if you're really interested in this vehicle. This vehicle is listed right now at $52,795. I'll put I'll, I'll look in the description below. I highly recommend it. It's a really, really fantastic Jeep. I mean, it deserves a name to be called a Jeep. It's, it's a wonderful car. I highly recommend it. To any Jeep lover out there who wants a new Jeep. So, yes. As always, be sure to tell Dish we sent you to Tracy, and she'll get you a really good deal. I promise you, she's a good moral woman. She's been giving me these new car reviews, so how why would she not give you a good deal? I mean, think about it. Why would someone not want to give you a good deal? Where it's like, oh, they're, you're, they're paying you. I'm like, no, I won't get paid at all on you. So, yes, be sure you go check out Tracy, because she's amazing. And be sure to check out other videos as well, and subscribe if you haven't already. This has been Dish Shake Reviews. See you next video, everybody!